Amen. Praise the Lord. Certainly that's the way we feel tonight. We're rich with the Lord. If you got the Lord in your life tonight, you got everything that you need. He's able to make all grace abound unto you. We appreciate Whitley Jordan Jr. from Barberville, Kentucky. He's come to sing for us tonight. Doing a wonderful job. We appreciate him. If you'd like for him to come to your church, call him at area code 606-542-4515. Also call his num uh, number, uh, area code 606-627-9588. Either number you can get uh, Brother Jordan and he'll be glad to come and sing for you. We'd like to dedicate the program, send it out to Brenda and Jack Lawson. We know they're watching tonight. We appreciate all of our viewers out there that watches us from week to week. We just hope the program is a blessing to you. And if you got a prayer request, I'd like for us to uh, pray for you or pray with you tonight, we'll be glad to do that. And and usually we, we take these prayer requests to churches we visit and we give them in at, at the churches and, and and that way you got everybody praying for you. Now we got an important prayer request uh, uh, request tonight. We got uh, Lena Trent. You know, is very sick, and and uh, she needs your prayers tonight. She's been turned over to hospice, and uh, she needs your prayers. And her husband, G.C. Trent. Uh, we need to pray for that family. Pam Mills. Uh, that's her mother, and pray for her family. And uh, also, I'd like for you to remember my brother, Goble Jr. Mills. He's in the ICU at Barville. Remember him in prayer tonight. We don't know what the uh, cause is, what, what the sickness is, but, uh, you know, uh, God's able to lift him up. So let's remember uh, him in prayer tonight. And, and uh, so tonight, uh, before we get into the Word, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight thanking you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace and Thank you, Lord, for each blessing that you've blessed us with down through this day. And God, we just pray tonight for these requests that's been called in tonight, Lord. With uh, Already, Lord, we just pray, Father, that you just reach down, Lord, and just lay your healing hand upon each one of them tonight, Lord. Touch their bodies, Lord. Heal them of their sickness, Lord. And, and God, we'll give you the praise. And God, we just pray, Father, for all those that's in the nursing homes and hospitals tonight. We just pray, Lord, that... You'd reach down and touch their bodies, Lord, and heal them of their sickness. But, Lord, tonight we pray most of all tonight for that lost person out there that don't know you in a free pardon of sin, Lord. We pray, God, that you might touch their heart, Lord, that they might see their condition, Lord, and fall out with sin and turn to thee before it's everlasting too late. And, and Lord, tonight just go with us as we stand to uh, preach your word tonight, Lord. Give us the words that you would have us to say tonight. and. We'll give you all the thanks and give you all the glory. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight it's, uh, you got your Bibles in Mark the 14th chapter. Bound about the 17th verse there. We're going to start reading. And we like to wish all the fathers a happy Father's Day. I know that comes up Sunday. And we got some uh, one maybe here or two here in the audience tonight. And I know... I said too, me and Brother Junior, I know we're, we're uh, fathers. And so uh, tonight uh, uh, in the Mark's gospel, the 14th chapter and the 17th verse, it said, and in the evening he cometh with the twelve, talking about Jesus. And as they sat down and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, One of you which eateth with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful, and say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? See, they didn't know who the hypocrite was among them, did they? They didn't know. We don't know today. We can judge and say, uh, you know, in our own way, but uh, the Bible tells us if we're going to judge, we've got to judge righteously. 
Not according to her opinion, not according to her ideal, Brother Junior, but according to the Word of God. That's judging righteously. The Bible is already judged. You know, it's judged everybody. It says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every person that's under the sound of my voice tonight and in this world tonight, all of us have sinned. There ain't none of us uh, uh, that have not sinned in our life. And uh, so we're all guilty before God. We've all uh, uh, turned our own way and done our own thing, lived after our own flesh, and uh, God is going to hold us responsible. And, and he answered and said unto them, He is one of the twelve that dippeth with me in the dish. The Son of Man, verse 21, indeed goeth, He's going to accomplish the job as it is written of him. He come to do a work the Lord did. But he said, look here's what he said. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good were it for that man if he had never been born. You know there's people out there tonight that have betrayed the Lord. 